hazardous chemicals. They are found in more than 7 million workplaces, and over 55 million employees handle, use, or work around these potentially harmful substances throughout North America. While these substances are essential to many work processes in a variety of industries, they can also be very dangerous. Effects from worker exposure to hazardous chemicals can range from mild skin irritation to severe burns to the eyes or skin to death from various types of exposure. Hazardous chemicals can also be highly toxic, flammable, or even explosive. Because of the dangers presented by hazardous chemicals, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, developed the Hazard Communication Standard CFR 1910.1200. OSHA's regulation requires companies to develop a hazard communication program which communicates the hazards of workplace chemicals to all employees. In today's program, we will provide an overview of the key components of your organization's hazard communication program so you'll be better prepared to work safely with and around chemicals in your workplace. Your organization's hazard communication program must include a written plan. This written plan specifies the policies, procedures, and essential elements of the hazard communication program, such as container labeling, the collection, storage, and availability of safety data sheets, and a listing of all hazardous chemicals on site as well as their location. The written plan will also detail specific guidelines for the training of employees. For example, employees will receive specific training based on the hazardous chemicals to which they may be exposed. Some examples of specific chemical training which you may receive include the methods used for monitoring the presence of hazardous chemicals and the warning signals used to indicate a leak or spill. The physical and health hazards of chemicals used in your work area and the safe work practices and personal protective equipment used to prevent exposure. How to read the important information found on chemical labels and safety data sheets and the locations on site where safety data sheets and the written plan may be accessed. Again, all of this information may be found in your organization's written hazard communication plan. The written plan is an important document which all employees have a right to review upon request. OSHA's hazard communication standard was first enacted in 1983. However, recent changes have brought the regulation more in line with international standards. I'm referring to the implementation of the Global Harmonizing System, or GHS for short. Implementing the Global Harmonizing System helps ensure improved quality and consistency in the classification and labeling of all chemicals. This in turn improves an employee's ability to quickly understand critical safety information. Created by the international community and adopted by the United Nations, the Global Harmonizing System provides a single set of harmonized criteria for classifying chemicals and mixtures according to their health, physical, and environmental hazards. The global harmonizing system improves hazard communication by specifying communication elements such as signal words, pictograms, and precautionary statements which are 